hungry. I miss crab stuffed mushrooms. How about vegan stuffed mushrooms? That's a great idea. getting these mushrooms ready for stuffing. And by that I mean popping the stems off, which makes it really easy to peel away the skin. I'm using Bella mushrooms. Just make sure they're large enough for the filling. Now that I have the last two mushrooms finished, I'm going to go set them over here on my cookie sheet that I have pre-lined with parchment paper. And I've reserved a couple of the mushrooms along with all of the stems that I ripped off the mushrooms in the beginning to chop for the filling along with the garlic and the onion. I'm going to start by slicing and chopping a half a red onion. We're going to finely mince it. And also we're chopping some garlic. I've got four cloves. I'm now chopping the mushrooms and the stems to add to the filling. I do want to stress and chop them pretty fine. You'll want to chop them as small as you did the garlic and the onions. If the pieces are too big, they won't fit inside the mushroom. Now that I have everything chopped, I'm going to take it over to the stove to saute. Now we are going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil in my pan. I'm going to turn it at about medium high heat. And we're going to toast some gluten-free breadcrumbs. I'm using Ian's. And I'm using a cup. And to this, I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Fresh herbs work fantastic as well. I just don't have any at the moment. I'm using a quarter teaspoon of parsley. And I'm using a quarter teaspoon of basil. You can also use an Italian seasoning mix if you don't have these herbs. And we're just going to toast this in the oil until they're golden brown. It adds a little bit more substance and crunch. These shouldn't take too long to brown out, just a, two or three minutes. Now they just reached the perfect golden brown color that I was looking for. And we're just going to remove them from the heat and saute the rest of the filling and then add them together afterwards. 
Now that I have my breadcrumbs out of the way, I'm going to turn my pan back on to medium high heat, add some more olive oil, but this time around I'm going to do a half olive oil, half coconut oil mix. I just like the way it tastes better. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of each. for a minute. And to this I'm going to add the garlic and the onion first for a minute or two and then when those turn translucent I'm going to go ahead and finish by adding the mushrooms to that. Now after about two minutes, my onions are getting nice and translucent. I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of Himalayan salt and a quarter teaspoon of smoked chili flakes. You don't have to use this, I just enjoy the bite. And some freshly ground black pepper. Could you help me with that? Now we're just adding the breadcrumbs and the two teaspoons of nutritional yeast. Not only for flavor, but for the added benefit of the extra B12. And we're going to give it a good stir. Now that this is all mixed together, we can take it over and stuff our mushrooms. Now we're going to pop these in the oven that I've preheated at 375 for 18 minutes. Now for this delicious vegan mozzarella sauce, we're going to put 3 quarters cup of cashews raw in a blender, half a cup of water, one clove of garlic, half a teaspoon of onion powder, 3 quarters teaspoon of Himalayan salt, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. You're gonna blend this together on high for two minutes till it's creamy and smooth. After the 18 minutes have passed, it's time to add the mozzarella sauce. And you're just going to dollop as much as you can per mushroom, about a tablespoon. And it looks very runny right now, but after cooking it for two minutes, because of the cornstarch that's in there, it really thickens up and it's just like cheese. It's incredible. This smells delightful. Now it's time to 
get these in the oven for two minutes. Now for my favorite part. You will not miss crab at all after trying this recipe. The flavors of the herbs and the breadcrumbs, the mushrooms and that cheese, let me tell you, is so flavorful. Wow, you'll be impressed. They make a great addition to any meal. They make a great appetizer. Your friends and family will be impressed. The mushroom is so meaty, it really resembles crab. Give these mushrooms a try. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and like, share, and subscribe. Is it time to eat yet? Now let's eat.